What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Thank you for joining me today. Well, I don't know about you, but I was getting kind of concerned like we'd never get back to normal. But after two years, it seems like two decades, it seems like we might be there, people. We might be there. I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about the economy. I'm talking about people losing their mind. That's how I know we're getting back to normal. Because we got NBA stars attacking each other on the court. And now... Finally, finally, we have wrestling fans jumping over the barricade and attacking innocent wrestlers just trying to do their job and guess what? Perform for you. Yes, because on Raw tonight, Seth Rollins was attacked by a moron of a fan who jumped the barricade, ran up while he was running up the, walking up the Titantron and speared him and Seth Rollins kind of got him in a little bit of a guillotine and then he kind of got tangled up and the refs pushed him off and then Seth Rollins jumps up and was like, is that the best you got? Is that the best you got, boy? Hold on, Seth. I get it. You're pumped up. If you want to do that, do it while you're kicking the guy, okay? Don't do it while the guy just speared you. And granted, he had the element of surprise and you're just minding your own business doing your job. This is no shade towards Seth Rollins at all. But don't be cocky when the guy attacks you and then you get saved by other people. Is that the best you got? Like, you didn't do anything. Like, if it was just you two right there, he would have probably punched you a couple times and then maybe knocked you out. I don't know. So, Seth, if you're going to be cocky about that, do it while you're kicking the guy. Or punching him or doing something. Do like Triple H did when the guy jumped in the ring. He started just hammer or just punching him in the face really hard. Then you can be cocky about it. But don't be cocky when you didn't do anything. That being said, this video isn't for the morons who jump over the barricades because there's clearly nothing I or the good Lord himself can say to make a light bulb go bing and click above their heads because they're too stupid. They're way too dumb. They're, there's literally nothing I can say or do. They're just, they're gonna do it, okay? But what I am trying to get across is if your friends is the person who's like, I'm gonna jump the barricade and get Seth Rollins. Go, hold on, cool. But before you do that, what's that over there? And they go, Oh, uh -huh. you go, and you, uh, you choke him out, just, good night, Billy, just go to sleep, and just slam him to the ground, and make him go to sleep, and knock him out two ways, with cutting off the blood flow, and concussing them with their head on the ground, because you don't need to be around people like that, those people are going to get you in trouble, and not only that, they're ruining it for you and everyone else, it may not seem like it, but I guarantee you, if they keep doing this kind of stuff, WWE is going to have to do something because the wrestlers are going to be like, hey, hold on, hold on, wait. Every time we go out there, anarchy comes to play and then people attack us. I can't do that. So what they're going to have to do is put up some kind of cage around the thing so people can't get to them. That's not the same feel of wrestling, but that's what it's going to have to be because wrestlers aren't going to go out there and fight and, and wrestle if they're going to be attacked by 10,000 people at the same time. Would you do your job? If you, if at any point in time people are going to just start attacking you, I get it, it happens, but not as often as for a wrestler, it seems like. I mean, if you work at 7 Eleven, yes, your job is way more dangerous than a wrestler. But if you're, I don't know what, an accountant, you're usually not attacked. You don't have to have a put a cage between you and the people you're doing accounting for because, like, uh, well, I used to do this all the time without a cage, but. It seemed like people were getting crazy when I do their taxes and they just start attacking me. No, you don't want that. That's why wrestlers don't want that either. They don't want to try to do their job and people keep attacking them. So you have to stop that happening. But you're not going to be able to stop people who do that because they're too stupid. Okay? So if you know anyone who goes to a wrestling event and you go with them and they're like, I'm going to jump over the barricade. Once again, you distract them and then you choke them out. And then you get to be the hero. People don't know who you are. You're the you're the unsung hero of wrestling because you they won't know you made a difference, but you'll know you made a difference, and the good Lord will know you did made a difference because He knows you stopped some moron from jumping over the thing. And second of all, if you're watching this video and and you know your friend, you had to choke him out. You had to choke out Billy once again. And good night, Billy, and slam him to the ground because they were going to do that. It's your responsibility to make sure they have some kind of horrible accident where they get their crotch cut off and their balls removed so they can't procreate because we don't need more idiots like that in the world. Okay, I know it's hard trying to figure out the solution, whatever, but we got too many dumb people making more dumb people. Okay, we got to make less dumb people. Have you ever seen Idiocracy? 
You ever seen the trailer for it, the first 15, 20 minutes of it, when they talk about what happened through the 500 years where people just kept getting dumber and dumber and dumber because only dumb people were procreating and smart people weren't? That's what we have going on now, and we need to stop that and nip it in the bud. So if your friend ever says that they're going to jump the thing, it's your responsibility. Choke them out and make sure they don't make babies. And if they got kids, I'm sorry, you got to drown them or something or cut the brake lines on their on their car and say hey you should take the family on a vacation up this cliff oh, okay ah! Odoyo rules something because we this is this is getting ridiculous like wrestlers should not be attacked Pe regular people shouldn't be attacked and you shouldn't be attacked while you're doing your job and that's exactly what happened to seth Rollins today and it's frustrating i've said it before and i'll say it again and i'll say it again 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 because it's just going to keep happening and I just, I, I just, it blows my mind how people still want to have kids in the world. There's a little rant on the side on my, I don't understand why people want to have kids. Have you seen how the world is lately? It's not getting better. It's not going to get any better. But people are, oh, well, we should have kids. No, you're stupid. And that's why I'm single still. One of the many reasons. Well, that is it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And as always, I do appreciate it greatly. I guess that's it for now. And until next time, peace.